In this video trade, we're going to look at the guaranteed stops, normal stops, and trading stops on the Core Spreads Core Trader 2 platform. Stay tuned. Hey traders, one welcome to you. All right, so Core Spreads are a channel sponsor, and I want to go to the screens in a moment and have a look through the platform, specifically guaranteed stops, how they work, how much they cost, the trading stops, and regular stops, differences between them, and how we place them on the platform. Okay, so generally speaking, guys, a guaranteed stop, I want to say generally speaking, this is a guaranteed stop. A guaranteed stop is pretty much what it says it is. It's guaranteed to fill you at the price level you set. So in other words, let's look at an example. If you had a stop loss 50, uh, let's say 200 points under the market, okay, you got swing trade, you got stop loss 200 points below the current price, you go into the weekend, uh, it's 200 pips, it's 200 points, whatever instrument, that instrument then gaps down, say 400 points, a regular stop will stop you out at the next available price. So if the price opens down 400 points, then a regular stop is just gonna fill you at the next available liquidity. That's how stops work, guys, because they fire a market order effectively into the market when your stop levels breach. So you're gonna get filled 400 points lower. Now, if you had a guaranteed stop in place, if it gaps 400 points lower, you're gonna get filled at the level of your guaranteed stop. So in that example, that was 200 points lower. You're gonna be guaranteed to be filled 200 points lower. So that gives you com confidence that it's never going to, you're never gonna get extreme slippage like we had uh, with the Swiss National Bank, uh, the peg at 1.2, big moves like that. Lots of people had regular stops in just didn't get a fill they wanted because there's no liquidity there. It wasn't necessarily uh, the brokers. It was just, hey, this is the next available price is here. That's the fill. Um, and so when would this apply to you? So if you're day trading, you, you're probably not going to get that much value from a guaranteed stop, if I'm honest, because you know, unless something extreme happens intraday, very, very extreme, um, very, very quickly, you're probably going to still get stopped out within a few bits of slippage of what happens. So let's say, you know, something, some catastrophe happened and the market went into free fall, there's probably gonna be liquidity on the way down. Um, it's probably not just going to gap massively. Not to say nothing, not to say never say never, because everything happens in the market, guys. Uh, one thing you learn when you're trading for a long time is that anything can happen, but it's less likely if you're intraday trading. Uh, if you're kind of also trading currency pairs, generally speaking from Monday to Friday, again, not quite as low a risk as day trading stuff, but lesser risk. Bearing in mind liquidity does dry up a little bit overnight session for whatever the overnight session is to the currency pay or trading. So be aware that if there's extreme news, it is still possible. But again, the chances are slimmer. Um, going up to more chances if you're holding shares overnight, because they're obviously going to gap, especially with trading of earnings, going up to a higher chance of stuff gapping and moving if you're trading over the weekend. So two days of news could potentially gap something quite massively. So if you're trading stuff over that longer period, then you're, it's more more advantageous to consider the guaranteed stops, less advantageous to consider them if you're day trading. Although, you know, who am I to say if you want to manage the risk like that, that's your choice. So the option is there for you. Now, how they work is you will pay a fee to place the guaranteed stop. So it's not a free service. It's basically like an insurance policy, right? You're paying a premium to have that insurance. So when you place the trade and you have a guaranteed stop with it, when you place that trade with a guaranteed stop, a fee is taken. Now, some brokers take it as a fee, some brokers take it as an added spread, uh, but basically it doesn't matter how they package it up, it still costs you a little bit more money than a normal trade. So just think of it like an insurance premium. If you want that insurance, you have to pay the premium for it. If you don't want the insurance, there's no premium. Now, the idea is, of course, that if you have to claim, i.e. it does gap down, then fine, you're gonna, it's gonna be worthwhile investment for you, the premium you've paid. If you don't, then just like insurance guys, you know, you, you know, you know what insurance is like I'm displaying that guys to you. Okay, so let's have a look at the screen and let's see how we place this kind of stuff uh, on the course spreads platform. So I've got the demo up here. I've also got a live account. They're both identical in terms of price and spreads, but I'm gonna put some orders through on the uh, demo because I want to actually place some trades and I don't want to specifically uh, look for and wait for a trade opportunity on the live account. So let's say we're going to trade the, and I was messing around with it before, let's close this one up and start a fresh one. So let's say we're trading the uh, Dow here. Well, let's go to a currency pair, right, for a change. Uh, so let's say we're trading Euro USD. So we hit trade. Uh, and there's your USD sitting there at 0.06 spread. Pretty good. And let's say we want to trade it at three pounds a point. 
um, and we want to go long. So we hit the buy and it highlights the buy side. And now we want to kind of attach a stop. So we've got some different buttons here, but I want to focus on the stop for this one. So we want to attach the stop. And let's say we want to do it, um, you know, 280 pips away, right? We've decided swing trade. We're looking for a kind of multi-week, multi-month move. Um, and we want to do that. We want to put our 280 points away. Now, we can trade this as it is, place the order and fire it away, and it would go and have our stop, and that would be a regular stop, 280 points away at the price. And by the way, we can set the price or we can set the points. So either the price is important to us or the distance in points, we can do either or. Um, and that's gonna show us the amount. And because it's a demo account, it's seeing DMD, but normally it would be in the currency that you're trading. So 840 pounds is our risk on that trade, and we can take it. Now, if we want to use a guaranteed stop, we have to tick this little box here and the minimum and basically it's now changed the value here and said okay well the tightest you can have that guaranteed stop is 169 points away and we wanted 250 so we're fine now the reason they say hey you can only do uh, a stop that's um whatever 169 points is that they don't want you, and you can understand this, that brokers don't want you having the guaranteed stop so close that you're benefiting from very small gaps. So for example, you go into non-farm payrolls, or you go into an interest rate announcement, have a really tight guaranteed stop, and it's gonna be free money because you know, the market's just gonna move 100 pips now. And then if you've got 10 point pip stop, you've basically got a really massive edge. So you know, they're, they're just being reasonable and saying, hey, well, you know what, the minimum you have it on that case, whatever, that was 169 points away, it's gonna be a percentage depending on what you're trading. So it's, like I said, it's suitable for concerned about those black swan events. So in this example, we go, right, guaranteed stop, 250 points away, exactly the same process, except we're ticking that box, and this is costing us three points, because we're in three pound a point here, and it's saying it's nine pounds, and I say it's DMD because we're in the demo account at the moment. So it's costing us three points. So if we now to place that trade, we submitted that trade, it goes through, great, that's gone. Uh, we're long, we've got the opening price here, the current price here, the stop, it's got a little G in brackets to say it's guaranteed. And if we go into the transaction history here, it says here, uh, GTD order charge for the trade we're on, nine uh, DMD, which is the demo, obviously it'd be pounds, nine pounds. So it takes it away immediately from you. Okay, so that's the guaranteed stop. If we want to look at the trailing stop quickly, so let's use the same instrument. Let's go to trade, let's go to Euro US dollar. And let's say we want to, in fact, let's use a different instruments so we can see it coming up. Let's go to USD JPY. And let's say we want to do five pounds a point. We want to check our stop. We want to go long again. We want to put our stop loss in, put our stop in, select a trailing. Okay, and now we can trail it, let's say 25 points away. So now that's gonna trail. So let's submit that and see what happens. So we're submitting that. We've got to fill at 108.24, five pounds a point here. And you can see this now has a stop 107.991 and it's a trailer. So as the market moves in our favor, that's going to ratchet up with the market. So a trailing stop, obviously guys, you're aware, goes up with the market, doesn't come down with the market, as you're long, if you're long, by the way, goes up with the market, doesn't come down with the market, and kind of locks in those gains as the price is moving in your favor. So you'd see that stop as the price kind of moves up, you'd see that stop move up and up and up and up and up, uh, and it would still stay the same distance away as you're moving. And then if it came down, it obviously wouldn't come down and that price would change. All right, guys, that is the stop loss, trading stop, and guaranteed stop on the core spreads trading platform. Take care, see you next one, bye-bye.